Hey guys, it's me, Mrs. Maine, here to tell you about this week's history mystery. This week, we're investigating the Loch Ness Monster, oh, which is one of my favorites. Although, to be completely honest with you guys, every single one of these is one of my favorites because I'm straight up just doing this for fun. So, the Loch Ness Monster. So, here's the story of the Loch Ness Monster. The first recorded sighting dates all the way back to 565 AD. And technically, it was a water beast that killed a man in the River Ness. The River Ness drains into the Loch Ness. A loch is like a lake, sort of. Um, so, let's fast forward from 565 AD to 1916 when a man um, comes into the Drumnadrat Hotel, which is on the shores of the Loch Ness, and reports seeing like some huge creature in the water. There have been sightings on and off in between 565 and 1916, uh, like local legends. But round about 1933, they started um, cutting down trees and putting roads in. The Loch Ness is in the highlands of Scotland. It's um, hard to access. So they were putting roads in. They were cutting down trees. Visibility around the loch got a lot better for people driving by or for the hotel on the shores of the Lake Ness, the Loch Ness. Uh, in 1933, someone reported, reported a um, creature, a mysterious creature, maybe a whale, they weren't sure. And um, then a local newspaper hired a big game hunter to see if he could find it. He took... <laughs> Uh, he took an ashtray that was shaped like a hippopotamus foot, and he made fake footprints, and he was like, I found something. Hoax. Uh, then comes, of course, the famous surgeon's photograph. This is the most famous photograph of the Loch Ness Monster. It's classic. Uh, it was taken in 1934 by a doctor, which is why we call it the surgeon's photograph, I guess? Question mark? Someone should look into that. And it was later found to be a hoax, so... But there have been thousands of pictures taken of the Loch Ness Monster since that time, and it kind of would be pretty nuts if they were all, every single one of them, a hoax. I don't think so. So the question we're trying to answer this week is, is there really a creature living in the Loch Ness, an undiscovered creature living in the Loch Ness? Uh, there's just like every week, all you've got to do is click on the link below and it'll take you to the Google Doc with all of the facts and the introduction and the evidence. Um, just like every week, you don't, don't read all the evidence. There's too much. Uh, this week's evidence, just like the Wolf Girls mystery, contains a couple of photographs that you need to look at really carefully. Uh, pick a couple of pieces of evidence and then when we have our Zoom meeting on Thursday and just discuss theories, you can be an expert in part of the evidence and if everyone does a little part then we will be really super set um and just like every week uh read the introduction and facts watch this adorable video uh skim the evidence take the survey look at the results of the survey and see what everyone else thinks too because i'm always really interested uh then again i'm super nosy so i don't know if that's a thing everybody is uh, anyway, and join us for our Zoom conference on Thursday. And also, just like every week, there's cool stuff at the end. Um, you can watch some videos of scientists working. There's a live streaming camera of the Loch Ness, so you can pop in and check on the Loch Ness literally anytime, day or night. And my absolute favorite, there's a place to play around with um, the Loch Ness Monster and puns. So if you only check out one of the fun things at the end, definitely do the puns. All right, guys, happy sleuthing.